Perfect. Perfect. channel is the 12th house empress aka Nene in the building and if you are new welcome pull yourself a seat up all right and if you are a returning subscriber hey boo boo how you doing i hope you're doing fantabulous now today we have a collective reading and here's the dealio i don't usually do these types of readings when it involves like love and things like that really um that's not really what my channel is all about but this is an emergency message for somebody out there, whether it's you've had reminiscing thoughts about somebody from your past, okay? Somebody is in your auric field right now, okay? What, the message that I'm feeling with this download, Spirit told me somebody only wanted you for your physicality, okay? This is somebody who is very superficial. It's like, and what else did I get? It was also, it was like always sexual, okay? That's what I was feeling. Like, it was just all physicality. This person would kind of nitpick you, right? Like, anything that you did... It's like you were always under the microscope is what I'm hearing. Like nothing was ever good enough and your self-esteem in that relationship dwindled. That's what I'm hearing. Okay? So, yeah, your self-esteem was low and you went from the seven of pinnacles to the empress, right? Once you dropped this beast of burden, okay? This is what this person was, was a beast of burden, okay? I'm telling you, like you, maybe you had a drug abuse problem. That's going to be for some of y'all, okay? That's what's coming through right here for some of y'all. Uh, but otherwise, this person could also be involved with, with drugs currently, okay? Now, Spirit's also saying that don't be fooled by this person's energy if they do end up coming back around, okay? The only reason why they want you is because you've glowed up. You've leveled up, right? And, boo-boo, like my channel, I'm never, ever going to encourage anyone to go back to something that was toxic or, or, or so, so, something from your past, you know what I'm saying, uh, that's going to make you feel like less than, right? Because when we're pining for something like that, because it, it's like a trauma response is what's coming through. This is a message for somebody, okay? Now, Spirit's saying that you leveled up. You glowed up. And you were made for this. You went through so many trials and tribulations is what I'm hearing. And now this person is a secret fan because you've leveled up. You literally went from the Seven of Pentacles to the motherfucking Empress. Can I get an amen? Rebuke the five, okay? So, Mirror... Miracles are here, okay? Miracles are here right now. And if you have been working hard and you're having a breakthrough, Spirit is saying that this person is coming in as a spiritual test right now to test your faith. You have been resourceful in yourself. That's what Spirit is saying, okay? We have resourceful. And what? False bitch. This is who you are, okay? You leveled the fuck up on this person. I'm telling you, you're not even the same. And this person, it's like it was all physical. There were so many red flags. And I feel like you didn't see it because you had the rose-colored glasses. That's what I'm hearing. So all the flags look the same, right? <laughs> so Spirit said, hey, boo-boo, you got to leave the past in the trash because you level it up. The trash can't come with you, period. Because this person was a snake in the grass, okay? Snake in the grass. And also we, all, we have religious. So with a religious card... This person might judge your spirituality. That's going to be a message for some of y'all. But you're also multi-talented is what's coming through as well. You're so gifted. You're so talented. And I got the metaphor of like a butterfly can't see its wings, right? The butterfly don't realize how beautiful it is. And this is you. And these people, these secret fans, from the ex-lover to the ex-bestie, like they're watching you because you're starting to shine. Because the moment that you let go of all that baggage, right, you just light as a feather. Okay, looking good, boo-boo. And yeah, they're a secret fan. Some of them could be on the drugs. Okay, that's going to be for some of y'all. And this person also was a dream crusher. So with dream crusher coming in, Spirit's saying it's like you couldn't get nothing off the ground. We have authentic popping out in the reversal right here underneath that. So when you were around this person and fake ass friends in the reversal, when you were around this person, it felt like, you know, you just couldn't get no air. felt like you couldn't be yourself. Maybe you felt like you stumbled over your words. You weren't very confident in yourself. And now you're starting to reach this level of confidence in yourself, boo-boo. Like, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Like, Spirit is so proud of you. Your Spirit team is so proud of you, okay? Let's see what else I got on here. Let's see. So, this person was also dissecting you. It's like what I said, okay? Uh, like, nothing you ever did was good enough. And now it's like everything's good enough for you because you have your own par. You have your own standard for yourself, okay? So that's all the channeling that I got from that. So let's go ahead and get a pop in. Let's see some more. Let's see what happened, all right? So what happened in the situation? Oh, that don't flew out, okay? 
period. Look, we have the world card. So you closed out that old chapter. It's like you literally leveled up and glowed up in your life. We have the eight of swords, right? If you see this picture, this person set her free, all right? So this is what's showing me that you set yourself free from this person, right? And then once you're doing better, then they want to come back around, whether it was that ex-best friend. Also, definitely could have been that toxic-ass ex-lover for some of y'all, okay? That's what's coming through. But you set yourself free. You also had the help of real, true friends, a support team, okay? Now, we do have the Seven of Cups coming out, okay? And so with the Seven of Cups here, you see he done chose something. <laughs> he kind of sold his soul. And this person over here is kind of salty. They think that, like... Like they're saying, you don't think you don't think that I'm good enough for you now. That's what I'm hearing. The tower, abrupt, changing. Okay, like this shocked them is what I'm hearing. Like it shocked the shit out of them how you glowed up. You went from the seven of pentacles. So if you know if you know tarot, the seven of pentacles represents like it's made some progress. It's kind of like not really satisfied with where you're at. And when you were with this person, let's say your finances weren't doing well, or maybe you didn't have a really good job or something like that, or you were with a fuckery with this person, a codependent, then you turn into the empress, okay? And when you turn into the empress, who is the empress, boo-boo? That is Venus energy. Not only are you beautiful, but you're a self-starter, you're self-made, okay? That's what's coming through. Tell me more what happened in the situation. Oh, we have some reversals. Okay, we have the five of wands in the reversal. Yeah, you stopped looking over your shoulder, looking over the fence, trying to see if the grass was greener anywhere else. And I'm hearing this person is now seeing you as the grass is greener over there because you glowed up. Okay, yeah, the ace of wands in the reversal. Okay, so this individual is like now, like they ain't got no passion in their life. And this, this is also giving me kind of fuckboy energy, okay? So for some of y'all, that's what that was, okay? So we also have the four of pinnacles coming out, okay? You see the Grim Reaper? Yeah. Mm. It was their time. Like, karmic cycles coming around. Karma's a bitch, okay? Your glow up was their karma, period. So let's see some more. Tell me more what happened, Spirit. What, what happened in the situation? Okay, making plans. You decided to start making plans for yourself for your betterment, Okay. Like I said, you stopped looking over your shoulder. You stopped looking over to see if the grass was greener somewhere else. Because it wasn't, boo-boo. You knew it. I can't do this. You started making plans. You said, I got to cancel some plans. That's what I just heard. You had to cancel some plans with, with the fuckeries. Can I get an amen? Tell me more, spirit. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I told you. Look, Mira, I miss you. Mm. I told you. No communication, no contact. So this is showing me you are not in contact with this person. And if this person has popped into your mind, this person's thinking about you, boo-boo. So you got to protect yourself. You got to really discern, okay, is this me? Is this my energy? Because I've been doing fine. Why is this person popping up in my head? Because they're thinking about you. That's what I'm hearing. They miss you. Okay, so this is just a... Um, a reminder to whoever out there has been, if you feel like you've been thinking about someone and you're just like, why are they in my head? Boo-boo, you're psychic. You're intuitive. You're a receiver. That's what we are, boo-boo. You're a receiver. And sometimes you be picking up on shit you don't want to pick up on. Okay? I feel you. I, I can read people's minds. I can. And sometimes I'd be like, ooh, I did not want to know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ever do that? It's a blessing and a curse. Cut off, period. They miss you because you cut them off. It's like... At one point, you were thirsty, right? And you were craving for this person's attention is what I'm hearing, okay? You were craving for their attention. Okay, maybe you missed them. And then it's like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I need to make plans for myself. You cut them off. Boundaries have been enforced. Maybe you blocked this person, right? Uh-huh, time to celebrate. And now, since you blocked this person, they are out of your life. Now it's time to celebrate. Spirit is saying, back to that world card. Ooh, good things are on the horizon for you, okay? That old chapter is gone. And yes, let them be a secret fan. This is just a heads up. Yes, they're watching. They're keeping tabs on you, boo-boo. Okay, so you give them a show, period, okay? Bottom of this deck, we have praying. Seek higher power for guidance. So that is the guidance that Spirit has for you. Just pray. You stay connected. Don't let the devil steal your, steal your blessings, period, okay? Let's get some more. Tell me more about the situation. Spirit... Hold up, that's a lot of car. Hold up. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Inner wisdom, Mother Gaia. Because you wise as hell. That's what it is, okay? You're wise as hell. You know, you've been there, done that next. 
we ain't got time to go back for seconds. That's what I heard, okay? It's kind of like, like, this is a metaphor I'm getting. You know, you ever, like, went to somebody's house and they made something and you made a plate and you ate it just to be polite, but it really wasn't that good. And then they're like, go ahead, get you some more. And you're like, no, no, I'm full. It's like that. Like, that's where you need to act. That's how you need to act with this person. Like, they, they didn't got no seasonings on their food. Like, boo boo, you the whole shebanga bang. It's sometimes, like, I heard this message one time. It's like, sometimes you'll you'll think that you you love someone, for example, or you care about this person, for example. Because, but the truth is, is that they brought out something that's already within you, right? So you have this magic that's inside of you. You never needed that person. It was always in you. You're the one with all the wisdom, all the deliciousness, freedom, period. See, maybe for some of y'all, you felt like, on some weird level, this person made you feel like you had freedom. That wasn't that person, boo boo. That was you. You're this like unshackled bird, right? And it's like you can't be caged. You can't be tamed. Your spirit is so big. You have so much to show the world. You're so colorful. You're so like beautiful, right? That's who you are. It's like time to step into that self love and acceptance of yourself. Like, yes, I am the shit. Yes, I am delicious. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, look, we have cleansing, okay? So, yeah, this is a good time to be cleansing yourself. Spirit's saying, maybe do, uh, what do you call it? Cord, cord cutting, that's what I'm hearing. And with the black tourmaline, let's talk about protect your energy. What I say, people are always calling your name, boo-boo. You got to be discerning. Do you want to pick up the phone and answer? And when I'm saying that, I'm saying telepathically, okay? Somebody's always calling your name. I'm telling you. That's just real. And teacher, you're a karmic teacher to this person because this person underestimated you. They didn't think that you would ever, ever turn out to be the empress or the emperor. They didn't ever think that you were ever going to be stable in yourself. That's what I'm hearing. So this was a karmic lesson to even teach this person some inner wisdom, right? And you've been cleansed from it is what I'm hearing. And freedom, cleansing, like this is telling me that this karmic cycle is over with, boo-boo. You got some living to do, period. I am present. So you're stepping into your big I am-ness. I am that I am, period. Can I get an amen? Yes. All right, tell me some more, Spear, what's going on with this energy? Uh-huh. Getting to work on that glow-up, boo-boo. Staying hyper-focused and not letting the devil distract you from your blessing. Because you work too hard, you come too far. You didn't come this far to only come this far. That's what Spirit's saying. Okay. Whoa, hello. Six of swords, swim out the swamp. That's what you've been doing. Get into calmer waters. It's been a spiritual battle is what I'm hearing. And there have been so many temptations trying to just pull you off track, right? But you can't stop for nobody and nothing, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Okay, boo, boo. Look, we have the hanged man. You come to this realization, this enlightenment, this truth. Of all that you've accomplished, boo boo, you did this on your own as the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles right there next to the Empress, boo boo. Self made, self starter. That's who you are. She is beautiful. She has self esteem. That's you now. Like stepping into that boldness and that deliciousness of who you are, okay? Whoa, hey, hey. Oh, we have the Nine of Wands showing his face. Yeah, it's just unbridled passion for life again. Because, like, you cut off all these toxicities and these people, right? Not hanging out with the low-vibing people is what I'm hearing. Three of Pentacles. Setting firm foundations around people who also have high standards, right? Some of these people from the past, it's like, they're still with the fuckeries. They're still on drugs. Drinking. Partying. Right? Not maturing. While you're over here finding people who are also trying to elevate. Who know what they value in life. Who know what they want in life is what I'm hearing. That's beautiful. Boo-boo, what did I say? Three of Pentacles to the Empress. The Empress, boo-boo. Okay, I told you, you went from the Seven of Pentacles. Then you was like, you know what? I'm going to show up for myself. I know it's hard, but I got to keep going. I can't give up on this dream that I have, this vision, right? With that Eight of Pentacles. And what's happening? Boo-boo, you're becoming it. You don't even realize it. Like I said, the butterfly doesn't even see its wings. They don't realize how beautiful it is. 
Although the butterfly flutters around, it goes to all these other beautiful flowers. It's probably thinking, wow, you're such a beautiful flower. You know, I wish I was that beautiful. Like, that's the metaphor I'm picking up. And the flowers over here looking at the butterfly like, boo-boo, you don't even realize. Like, not only are you beautiful, but you have wings. You can soar. Boo-boo, you can't make this up. Look, freedom with the eagle. You can soar, right? There's nothing holding you back anymore. So if there's been anything that's been trying to disillusion you or keep you stuck and stagnant, boo-boo, it's all an illusion. It ain't real. And all those limiting beliefs that have tried to cover your eyes is what I'm hearing. You are the empress. You did this. What's don't let don't let the devil steal what you've built. You've come way too far to come this far. Because like I said, these people, it's a spiritual test to try to see, okay. Do they really have the faith in themselves and in God's source spirit to persevere and to go towards what they want? Okay, do you want more, right? With the seven of swords, I'm hearing it's a spiritual test. Don't let the devil steal your blessing, period. That's what I'm hearing. Bottom of the deck, your blessing, the sun. You shine in your light and not hold yourself back or like micromanaging. Okay, what would they think if I did this? If I decided to speak my voice and do, you know, do my truth and everything, boo-boo? unbridled passion just do it because you are the empress okay period let's get some more tell me more spirit about this energy whoa okay so we have listening for truth this goes back to that discernment right so like you put in so much work you've been resourceful in yourself you've realized i am gifted i got stuff to do i have things to teach and things to offer to this world right and listening for truth and not being deceived, okay, by the fuckeries, period, okay? It's like there's your truth and there's my truth, right? Like I said, every people are always calling your name. So you got to you gotta protect your energy is what Spirit's saying, okay? Ooh. Okay, period. See, faith in the process. Sometimes whenever we're going through spiritual warfare, and a lot of it is mental, right? A lot of it's mental, Faith in the process. Have faith. Keep showing up for yourself, okay? It's like the story of Parvati. She represents devotion because she kept showing up to Shiva while he was meditating in the mountains, okay? And even though he wasn't paying any attention to her, she was like, you know what? I'm still going to bring food offerings to him every day. And then one day she was like, well, he ain't even listening to me anyway, so I guess I'll just be honest. And she told him, I want to learn how to do yoga. And he was, he opened his eyes and looked at her for the first time and was like, what? You know, I'm the master of yoga. You want to learn yoga? And she was like, yes. And then he was like, okay. And then he fell in love with her. Right? Why? Because she was devoted. She kept showing up for herself, right? There's that metaphor that the flower blooms regardless if anyone's watching. You just do it because that's, that's what she's supposed to do. Boo, boo. Okay. When the season comes and it's springtime, metaphorically speaking, like the flower opens. Cause it's like, I'm a fucking flower, bitch. Like I got to bloom. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to, Oh, are they gonna, are they gonna see me? And what's going to happen if I open up? Oh, should I stay? No, boo boo. It's time for you to blossom. Cause you're the empress period. Okay. Wow. Yes. Seeing the true you. Seeing the true you. Faith in the process, seeing the true you, and not letting all these things that distract us, whether it was the ex-lover, ex-bestie, the haters, okay? Let your haters be your motivators because you're seeing the true you. This is who you are, boo-boo. Can you just like marinate in that for a second real quick? Pause the video and just take a deep breath and be like, this is true. I've overcame so much in my life. I'm a spiritual baddie, okay? That's what you are. And then we have... The word wants to be written. So whatever is inside of you, it wants to come out. Okay? It don't want to hide. It don't want to close. Okay? It don't want to wait on nobody. Your higher self's coming in saying, I ain't waiting for nobody. I ain't waiting for a call. I ain't waiting for the messages. I'm blocking who I need to block. Right? I'm protecting my peace. And I got to expand. That's where you're at right now, boo-boo. Bottom of the deck. Bring it into form. So... Whatever it is that you've been marinating on, Spirit say it's time to take it out the oven, boo-boo, period. Because life is too short to wait around for any validations or the apologies, whatever. You know, sometimes we create our own closure by creating the life that we know that we deserve, that self-love. Like, I deserve the best in this life. I don't deserve to settle for anyone who thinks less of me or, you know, 
just because I'm looking good and all these vultures want to come back from the past kind of thing. That's a message for some of y'all. No, boo-boo, you did this on your own. And not everybody deserves a seat at your table, period. That's what I just heard. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and get you beauty some advice. All right, boo-boo. What advice do you have? What advice do you have for my collective spirit? I am a creator. That's crazy. I am a creator. We had that bring it into form. This is who you are. You're made. You're made for this. That's what spirit said in the beginning. You're made for this. Okay. You're supposed to be creating shit and making shit happen. That's what you do. Okay. And anytime that you feel like you paralyze and stuff, because whether it was from past pains or whatever it is that you went through, they ain't nothing but the devil. That's my grandma says. Okay. They ain't nothing but the devil. Okay. You're supposed to be making shit happen. I am happy. Okay, so Spirit, I've just heard that Spirit wants you to listen to some music that makes you feel good, that makes you feel happy, just to, to elevate yourself. Because sometimes, you know, we need a little bit of pick-me-up is what I'm hearing, okay? Do things that make you feel good, that make you feel happy, okay? Like something I like to do is sometimes when I'm feeling down, I'll put on some early 2000s hip-hop because that, that kind of music always, like, brings me back, right? Back to the day. And it makes me feel happy. So, yeah, that's a good idea for you guys. What else, Spirit? What else? Period. Oh, we got two more. Hello. Okay. So we have I am unbreakable. You are my spiritual warriors, my spiritual baddies. Okay, boo boo. So you are unbreakable. You are unstoppable. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Let's go ahead and rebuke to find any negativity out here. Okay. And the last one we have is I am blessed. So think about all the things that you've overcome. You are so resourceful. You are an overcomer, boo boo. You are blessed. Count your blessings, boo-boo, because you, in fact, are a blessing and a miracle, okay? You are a miracle. The fact that you're still breathing today, you have air in your lungs, you are a miracle. Bottom of the deck, we have the card of cancer, I am safe, okay? So Spirit's saying, it's okay, you are safe, you are safe, okay? You are safe to be yourself, you are safe to love, you are, you are safe to just do whatever the fuck you want to, as long as you ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> Alrighty, boo boo. Well, this is the collective reading I got for y'all. And if it resonated, feel free to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the readings, okay? And if you want to be my best friend on Facebook, I have that information down below as well. And I send you all of my love. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Ta-ta.